Good morning, everyone. It is a uh, Sunday morning. We started getting up at about eight, so it's probably 8.30, 8.45. Tent's up, Ella's up, Carrots is up. Campsite treated this well. It had definitely been used before. There's a fire pit, a little bit of trash. But a uh, very secluded Ears trail. Are Ears are up, but we made sure to what? Good job. So you will never know we were even here other than the dry spot on the ground. But anyway, so yeah, off to uh, Station Camp Creek, which we should be very, 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 very close to because I was totally expecting to get to it last night. And it just never happened. And we thought it was 10 miles, but we already, I done more than 10 miles. Yeah, Ella did more than 10 miles yesterday. She says she did really good. It said about 12 miles to Station Camp Creek, and I couldn't imagine that from Angel Falls, and I couldn't imagine that we are uh, 12 point something. I couldn't imagine we are very far from it at all. I was expecting to not only get to Station Camp Creek yesterday, but go onto the lodge, and that didn't obviously did not happen. So, anyways, wanted to give you guys an update. It rained all night last night. We had a nice little rock shelter we were able to get halfway under, uh, and uh, that was nice. Stay cool. Stay dry is the main thing. Um, our bellies are full. Our legs are rested. Legs feeling good, Ella? Yeah. Mine are feeling good. And uh, I think we're not going to have any trouble at all making it right on down to the lodge today, probably before lunch. Um, and that's a conservative estimate. So, of course, I don't know. This thing could wind and wind and wind. We're still up pretty high. I see what looks just like overlooking. I don't know if you can see it in this camera but anyways so we'll see you guys uh lots of fallen trees that haven't been cut too on this trail anyways we'll see you guys at station camp creek Yep, we've been to this bridge, haven't we? So we made it down to Station Camp Creek. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to cross this thing. I really hope not because it is blown out. Here's a, the bridge, a bridge. I don't know. John Muir. I'm never coming to the trail from here. Yeah. John Muir. And this bridge is the ricketyest bridge. It, it swings like a swinging bridge, but it's solid wood. So... The river is up, and I'm thinking I gotta cross it right up here. I'm not sure. We will see. So, got across the bridge, seen our first Cherit Creek Lodge sign of a whole trip. 3.6 to Cherit Creek on the nastiest, muckiest, muddiest horse trail in the park. Probably the most traveled horse trail, but I think we're done crossing the creek, I hope. I really, 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 really hope. If you can't tell, I'm a little nervous about it because it's up high and I've crossed it before when it's low and it's still not fun. So, come on, babe. Anyways, we're on our home stretch to Cherit Creek. Soaking wet or not, we're going to make it today for sure not sure what the time is but it can't be past 10 o'clock um so yeah i'm thinking we're gonna make it by lunch at the latest depending on if this trail is a river or if it's walkable <laughs> so we'll see as i predicted the trail's flooded out but i'm still afraid i'm gonna have to cross this thing up here i'm almost positive there's a sign that says station camp crossing point eight but i've never been down that way and i don't know if that's the official crossing but the sign says Cherry Creek Lodge 3.6 this way so here we go just as I feared we would have to cross here should have known actually I did know I did not know that the rain was gonna take it up so high but nothing to it but to do it right Ella I'm gonna carry you across, okay? Uh, where is the trail? Oh, I see now. 
down. Can you hold this while I carry you? Yes. Excited or nervous? Excited! What am I? Mm. Nervous. All right, socks and shoes are already wet. Uh. So guys, that <sighs> has to cut across this. All right. We should have brought our boots. I need you to hang on as much as you can. Okay, just with one arm. Okay, ready? Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. You can you can film with your other hand. Don't drop the camera. Okay. Okay, we made it. Here's the camera. Here's your, here's your camera. Well, we made it. it wasn't uh, too deep. Maybe about halfway up my shins. Not as bad as I feared. Especially if you don't mind getting your socks and shoes, but I'm gonna have to sit here and wring them out though. Uh, because they're definitely, definitely full. Look, look here. Yuck. The brown's from the water. Good thing I put on dry, fresh dry socks this morning, huh? Yeah. Dad, when I point the camera at you, give me a, give it a thumbs up. You got the, you got it on? Mm -hmm. Big smile now. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. We've done this trail before, haven't we, Ella? Yeah. We came from Duncan Hollow, which is a nightmare. Never come down the Duncan Hollow Road Trail because it's a nightmare. Straight up. It's like 0.8 miles straight up. Mm -hmm. but I, I mean, don't... like, no switchbacks, no leveling out, no going down. Straight up. I don't remember that pipe. But it does sound like a nightmare. And when I say nightmare, I don't mean nightmare. We love hiking. We love adventures with hardships, don't we? It's not an adventure if you if you don't get soaking wet, right? Mm. What's our motto? We prefer. Adventure with hardship over no adventure at all. Isn't that right, Ella? Yes! Woo-hoo! Figured I'd go ahead and filter us some water. Good idea? What? Go ahead and get some water filtered. Yeah. It is horrible. Even the trail that goes around it, mucked up just as bad. This is our trail for the next 3.6 miles, unfortunately. I don't know if there's anything that can be done about it, but here we are.
made it! We are so excited! I feel like I just peaked in Katahdin, Mount Katahdin in Maine. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, phew, it's been a crazy, crazy ride. Uh, I've hiked this much before, um, and I've done trips that were longer overnight, but never with a five-year-old. It has been a roller coaster, you know, just uh, the nerves are a little bit higher when you, you know, you have someone else depending on you and you, that you have to keep dry, that you have to keep fed, and water, and all that stuff. Plus, you gotta keep them moving. Because once you're out here, there's no going home. Uh, we had a small little meltdown last night, but other than that, uh, you know, kind of, I wanna go home and see mom kind of melt down. But other than that, every, yeah. Cabin roof, we made it. We are so excited to be here. And we pushed really, really hard yesterday so we could get here at a decent time and, uh, and enjoy ourselves. So, man, what a trip this has been. I'm so glad to see that first cabin roof at the horse stalls. Now we're gonna go up here, make some new friends, get some fresh drinks and uh, some candy. What else are we gonna get? Candy, juice. We're getting it all, aren't we? Yeah. And first things first, we're gonna get some dry clothes on because we are wet from head to toe. It has rained since before we went to bed last night. Yep, yep. Yep, here's our trail where we turned down. We're not gonna take the trail because we're done with trails. We're gonna just walk through the field to the cabin and uh, yeah, stay tuned because it's going to be a nice, cozy. Uh, it's definitely going to be much nicer having walked for two days, um, three days, having walked for three days, two and a half, whatever. <laughs> then just that one mile hike in. <coughs> Far more rewarding, indeed. So we're going to go try to dry up a little bit and hopefully get us a little snack before dinner. Made it. They're hard to drive. She is at the parking lot. So we just got showers, nice warm showers. It was very nice. Now we are headed to our room, which is being turned down as we speak. Hopefully start getting our shoes dry and socks dry. Just shove some newspaper down in them. Feeling better now that you got a shower, Ella? Home sweet home. Got our room, Ella. Horse cabin number three. Right here at the trail we came in on. You finally glad to have a nice dry room to sleep in tonight? Yeah, I have to get my feet off. And a nice comfy dry bed to sleep in? And a nice feet cleaner. Yes. She's looking forward to the feet cleaner. I'm looking forward to the dry bed. Well, we made it to our room, but what did we forget? Newspaper for our shoes. Newspaper for our shoes. Because they are soaking wet. Gatorade. What are we doing? Going to play Jenga! Yeah, that's a nice soccer ball. We couldn't play Jenga because there's someone staying in that cabin. And it could be baby loud. So we're going to play catch. <laughs>
it again. I have two points, Daddy has zero points. Yep, it's on now, isn't it? Yeah. All right. What are we doing? Going to the eat by the creek. For a little treat, another treat. Got a, a orange Gatorade and some chocolate. Are you glad to be done hiking? No. Huh? Yeah. But did you have fun? No. Look here. Did you have fun? Not even once? Never on the whole trip? What was your favorite part? The cabin. The cabin. What was the worst part? The overgrown trail. The overgrown trail? Mm -hmm. When the When all the trees were in your face? Mm -hmm. Which site was your favorite campsite? The rock. The one under the rock that you found? Mm. Are you going to go hiking with Dad again? Never? No. Only small. Only small hikes? No more 12 mile days? One mile. Oh One God. mile to get out. I'm not doing any more hiking. After that, you're all done forever? Mm-hmm. Okay. Who am I going to hike with? The Crying Boys. The Crying Boys? No way. They don't like to hike like you do. Well, next I time don't... I'm packing up my hiking and camping gear, you'll say, Hey, I want to go hiking. I want to go camping. <laughs> no, you do that every time, right? Cause you love a good hike, right? Only if it's to the cabins. Was it worth it to get to the cabins? Was the big hike worth it to get to the cabins? Yeah. Yeah, it was worth it. Mm-hmm. Good. You ready for dinner? We just heard the first dinner bell ring, so that means one more hour till dinner. But that walk to our cab, our cabin was not worth it. You don't like the walk to the cabin? 
from the dinner hall? Me either. It's very hard. It's not hard. It's just a grassy knoll. You're a grassy knoll. Do you know that? Go. You ready to go? You ready? <laughs> what hit? <laughs> Silly. What are you ready for? <laughs> Quit the hat, man. Where are we going? To shake my booty. No way. Where are we going? To the breakfast room. We're eating breakfast? Yeah, and I'll tell you what we're eating. We're not eating breakfast right now. Oh, we're eating dinner. But I know. I'll tell you what we're eating. What are we eating? Booty! You're gross. <laughs> Quit. What are we eating? Come on, You're the doctor, and I'm going in. Who braided your hair? Stormy. Yeah. She's a nice lady, huh? She even gave us tweezers to, like... What does that bell mean? Time for your dinner! Good? Mm-hmm. Ella? Thumbs up. You're an animal. You ate more pork tenderloin than I did. Good morning. You ready for breakfast? Yeah. Carrots ready for breakfast? Did you guys sleep good? What's up guys? So we just finished our breakfast at the lodge. It was delicious. Sausage, cheese eggs, uh, sausage gravy, biscuits, hot chocolate. The cheese eggs were the best. The cheese eggs were what? The best. The best. Those were the best cheese eggs. They were very good. Um, and we had some coffee, some hot cocoa, some orange juice. It was hot all good. Chocolate. Yeah, Ella had a nice hot cup of hot cocoa to warm her bones hot up for the morning. Hot chocolate, not cocoa. I'm sorry, Ella. And uh, I really miss the communal dining. I do. We had our own table, just me and Ella. But I miss uh, meeting new people. I'm, I'm definitely an extrovert when it comes to that. So I miss that. Uh, still said hi. You know, where are you from? what you doing that kind of thing but when you eat dinner with somebody when you eat dinner with somebody you really um you really can get to know them if they're those type of people <clears throat> and most people are once you get to talk to them um <clears throat> so i do miss the communal dining food was exceptional staff is exceptional um this round a lot of new people there they all seem to be super nice people stormy awesome awesome lady um <clears throat> yes and uh yes the del eggs were delicious but anyways yeah it's been an awesome uh four days i guess friday saturday sunday today's monday we are ready i you know i'm ready for another 12 mile hike what about you no we're taking the one miler out to the to the parking lot um to the cherry creek lodge trailhead parking lot so uh it's been an awesome week it was very it was very um big it was a nice test for sure it was uh it was um definitely a challenge getting ella motivated and keeping her motivated and keeping her hiking and keeping her wanting to hike she says she's never hiking again but that'll change next time she sees me lacing up the old ultras so 
anyways, as uh, soon as I pull the backpack out again, she'll be saying, I want to go. But anyways, it's been an awesome week. I highly recommend the trail we just did. It was really pretty, a beautiful trail. Um, let me know if you do do it, and I can give you some tips and trip tricks on water and uh, stuff like that. We made a few mistakes on getting water. And um, <clears throat> so anyways, thank you for watching. If you made it this far in the video, you're a super fan and I love you. Um, and Ella and Carrots love you too. But anyways, thanks for watching. Like the video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Do all the subscribe and like stuff that Trinity and Madison do. Hey guys. <laughs> anyways, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Share the video. Come hike this trail. Um, that's the, the main thing is that you get out and you start hiking like you need to be doing, like you should have been doing years ago. Now do it. Get out and see these parts right now. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Step back 